pathology it is study of diseases it is a bridge between science and medicine it underpins every aspect of patient care right from diagnostic testing till the treatment of diseases and nowadays this cutting edges in genetic engineering hello guys and welcome back to next steel this is dr vishal and today we are very grateful as today will be joining with us our faculty of pathology dr smriti gupta ma'am let us welcome her thank you for the introduction dr vishal i am very happy and extremely thrilled to be a part of nextillo i think this is a great venture and it is going to help the students up very very much uh, so ma'am what we generally see is pathology is a vast subject and uh, so students you know tend to skip pathology or you know try to read it in a very short way irrespective of that why what made you choose pathology as a career option what was that most interesting thing which you saw in pathology um when i was in my uh, second year mbbs and i had just started reading uh, pathology uh it intrigued me very much because uh, you know the changes that happen at, at the cellular and the molecular level although uh, they seem very small because they are some microscopic things but they themselves are such vast processes the receptors and then what happens inside the nucleus i mean it it seems like a universe in itself right. you know every cell behaves like a human right. would uh, in response to its environment so i found that absolutely fascinating uh, and right. uh, reading uh, is something that i love because in pathology we have to read a lot right. so yeah the combination i think worked very well for me right. and uh, obviously uh, pathology forms the basis of uh, entire medicine you know yeah. uh, all the diagnosis all the treatments are uh, based on when you know the pathology of a disease you can't really uh, treat a patient unless you know what's going on inside what's wrong right. so i think uh, that really uh, you know intrigued me so ma'am as you told that pathology is a basis of all the diseases so in order to make any diagnosis or in order to manage any condition one should have a, a core knowledge of pathology so what is your idea how to build a strong concept in pathology right uh, so uh, you know uh, students are generally very afraid of pathology because there are these huge words and uh, it seems very difficult uh, to understand but uh, if you actually start from the basics that what forms the cell what is inside the cell you know if you uh, actually uh, start from a very foundation level and then go upwards and try to understand by breaking it down uh, uh you can actually form a very good concept of how it happens and what happens uh, which is going to help you further in the disease process uh, about what happens in the body what is causing the disease so to uh, you know to form a basic concept it is important that we instead of just mugging up these words uh, you know Uh, we we actually try to understand what what they mean by breaking them down and by trying to understand what exactly is going on inside the cell so when when we talk about students who are preparing for the university exams mm -hmm. you know undergraduate students whenever they appear for the practical exams or vivas and they go through any slide they just see only two colors blue and pink right so what do you see beyond them So yes, uh, when you when you first uh, see the slides, it's just a blue and pink and violet universe. But uh, once you uh, try and understand the architecture, you know you have to develop that eye to uh, kind of develop that because uh, a slide is just a two D thing. But then you have to in your brain imagine it into three D yeah. and uh, kind of uh, see beyond the blue and pink and try to see how the section is cut or. Uh, you know if if it looks round then maybe it's a luminal uh, organ so when you uh, when you actually uh, try to uh, decipher that what the architecture is and what those cells are and you get you get through that first step after that you know every slide just speaks 
yeah. in itself and it will uh, if, if it's a benign tumor uh, you know sometimes for cancers we say that when you look into the microscope the cancer is shouting at you that you know i am a cancer okay. it is that clear so it's just about developing that very basic understanding of how a normal will look which we generally do in our first year through histology okay. and after that when we come to pathology we just have have to see what what are the tweaks that have happened uh, from that normal to abnormal right. so once you develop that basic concept after that it is not that difficult right right so ma'am uh, how your lecture series at next elo are going to help students in creating a good core concept in terms of pathology as a subject right so what i have done in my lectures is that uh, number one i as you said i have uh, uh, we need to develop the core concept so i have really worked on uh, developing a base for the right. students it uh, it shouldn't sound like jargon after a point of time they'll understand what word means what it will not sound like some latin or hebrew or greek to them right. first is that because that is very important second is that uh, pathology is very vast as we've already discussed but for when when we look at it at an exam point of view we need very focused information so uh, after you've developed the concepts instead of just uh, going deep into the sea of pathology what i have done is uh, uh, developed a uh, flow of, of uh, lectures that will give you very focused information that is going to help you crack any kind of exam and number 3 is that uh, Uh, pathology may seem very dry because uh, you know there is no clinical uh, association that we uh, develop uh, one when we are reading pathology right. but but the, that is not true because uh, pathology is the base of all uh, kind of diseases or uh, you know anything that happens to the patient right. so um, what i have done is that there is there is a very integrated uh, uh, thing uh, where we uh, form a clinical pathological correlation so whether it's a case in medicine whether it's a case in surgery whether it's a case in gynecology uh, we read the basics of those diseases in the form of pathology so there is a very integrated kind of thing which will uh, not make the students think of pathology as a very dry subject because then right. they'll see symptoms as well as what is happening at the cellular level uh in those yeah, students will correlate it uh, yeah so that correlation yeah. will be there yeah. so so these are the three things that is going to help them develop a way a strong basic of pathology and once your concepts are that strong then uh, you know you can ace any kind of exam yeah. so uh my advice would be that uh, you you need to just follow the lectures that i am giving definitely you follow nextelo as a whole and uh, you know the the key to acing any kind of exam in uh, medicine is just revision uh, so you just have to read 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 and once uh, you know you think that you have learnt it but then when you go back to it then you miss something right. so revision is the key yeah thank you so much ma'am for your time thank you and thank you so much for your precious advice you have given to students